Indian cowboy. Look out! Fortress men making another raid. You know what we're after. Throw it out and be quick about it. All right. All right, hand them out. That's not all. There's one more. That's fine. Yes, folks, it's Gene Autry making another raid on your time with his Radio Riders, broadcasting from Radio Ranch. We're about to bust right into your homes with some real ranch music and singing. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're going to give you some real ranch music and singing. A long, long time ago, as all you folks should know, Uncle Noah built himself an ark. For forty days and nights, the rain was sure of fright, and the animals nearly tore his ark apart. The duck went quack, the cow went through, the doodle the old tom catcher raised an awful row. The little pig squealed, the billy goes, the bullfrog said, biggest rain we've had. Uncle Noah's ark's a madhouse now. The horses and cattle and south of the air, even the long-eared jacket was there. Quack, the owl said, who? Whoop! Cock-a-doodle-doo, all there, Uncle Noah's ark. At last the sun did shine, through the window bright and fine, and Uncle Noah thought it was time to land. He couldn't open the door, got his hammer on the shore, and the animals roared and growled to beat the band. The duck went crack, the cow went whoop! He said, cock a doodle doo The old Tom Catcher raised an awful row. The little pig squealed, the billy goes back, the little frog said, Take it rain we've had. Uncle Noah's ark's a madhouse now. The horses and cattle and the of the air. Even the long-eared jacket was there. Quack! Now can you over there and up the lower door? We're now turning the microphone over to Frankie and Betsy Baxter, President and Vice President of the National Thunder Riders Club. You're on the air, kids. It's all yours. First, I want to ask all of you to... First, I want to... Pardon the static, folks. First, I want to ask all of you to join our National Thunder Riders Club so you can come out here to our vacation camp and see a radio broadcast put on like it should be. Riding, roping, real horses, real guns, real cowboys, all you boys... And the girls, too. We don't want any girls. We do, too. Now, in reply to your letters, boys and girls, as to how we came to select the name... Thunder Riders for our club. What well, day, Frankie? I were having a horse race on the desert. We were riding like the wind, just having a lot of fun. When all of a sudden, we heard something that sounded like a roll of thunder. Thunder! It's gonna rain! Rain nothing? Well, there isn't a cloud in the sky. That's from Thunder Valley. I heard it once before. The Thunder Riders!
call our club the Thunder Riders. The legend is a reality to Betsy and me. And if we ever see those riders again, we'll sure tell you more about them. Thank you, Frankie and Betsy. Thank you. And remember all you kids that can't come out to the ranch. You can form a Thunder Riders club in your own town and ride with us every afternoon. Just send in your name and we'll send you a pattern so that your mother can make you a costume. Everybody ready? You. Let me remind you that when we left our radio show yesterday, the settler's wife was cowering in the corner of her log cabin, while her heroic husband, willing to give his life for those he loved, suffered terrific torture. You remember he had substituted his arm for the wooden bar across the door, which the bandits outside were trying to batter in. Already the door is beginning to shatter under their blows, and it seems but a moment until his tired, bruised arm will break. And now for the Thunder Riders. Are you all set, Eddie? Here they come! Will the Thunder Riders get there in time? And that, folks, you will learn when you tune in tomorrow. Good afternoon. Radio Rank now signing off. Hey, is our ranch becoming popular? And all on account of your broadcast. Why, our guests are coming on trains and horses and an automobile. And now, they're arriving by airplane. You said that ranch was deserted. It's deserted, all right. What about the fortune and radium you promised us? You'll get your radium. Gentlemen, I am firmly convinced that this is the site of the buried city of Mew. And with proper excavation, we'll find more than radium. We'll find secrets that have been lost to the world for thousands of years. As official greeters, we'd better get out and meet them. Welcome to Radio Ranch, gentlemen. <laughs> Quite a surprise to see a plane around here. The world is full of surprises. Uh, Beetson is my name, Professor Beetson. I'm Gene Autry. Do you think that we might secure accommodations? Sure, we... Nobody saw you come up here. I don't want my secret laboratory discovered. I sneaked away. So you're the one that took that caliber castle cyclometer tube that the radio engineer was looking for. Shh. This is scientifically important to me. Look here, sis. This shows you exactly how to make a direction finder. And I just made one. What's a direction finder? Well, when you hear something on the radio, this will tell you exactly what direction it's coming from. Look, I'll show you. That is, I'll show you if I made this thing right. See? It's pointing two degrees west of north. That means the music's coming from San Francisco. There's those funny signals again. Frankie, look! The direction finder is standing on its head! Short time. They seem to stand for anything. Okay. You know those funny signals I've been getting for the last two weeks? Yeah. Well, I got them again tonight. And my direction finder says they're coming from straight down. Say, do you suppose there's anything to any of those books that Frankie's been reading about a world underground with people and cities and everything? <laughs> Why, of course there's something to them. Let's go see those scientists that came today. 
Maybe they can tell us something about it. Maybe they can. But the signals were coming from the center of the Earth. And I wanted you to explain it to me, Professor. I see that you have a perfect understanding of radio beams. You probably encountered some unusual internal interference. Uh, undoubtedly magnetic static. Yes, but, but the signal sounded like human signals. Static, just static. However, I'll give the matter some thought and uh, look into it further a little later. Did you ever see anything like this? Peculiar little fellow, isn't it? Ah, an interesting example of antediluvian Americana. Where did you get it? Found it at the head of Thunder Valley. Could you lead my colleagues to the spot? Gladly. We'll appreciate it very much. But we'll have to get an early start. I have a broadcast at 2 o'clock, and if we miss it, we'll lose our contract. We'll say 8 o'clock. Good. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Good night. Professor. Good night. You heard everything? Autry's radio program and his singing make this ranch popular. Without him, there would be nothing here to interest anyone, and the place would soon become deserted. And we can go on with our secret explorations without anyone to molest us. Exactly. Tomorrow morning, when he leads Cooper and Saunders to the spot where he found that idol, your job is to see that he doesn't come back. A Moranian. Alive? Impossible. I tell you, it is. Come on, I found a Muranian. He's gone. I see that. Here's the proof. And there's the bullet hole. You perforated his oxygen tank. Evidently, they can't function on the air we breathe. This is undoubtedly a breathing apparatus that permits the Muranians to live at ground level. And the eyepieces are colored against actinic rays. It proves that the Moranians lived underground. Probably have since the first ice age, 100,000 years ago. He must have had confederates who helped him escape.
you'll gain some strength when we get down to the 20,000 foot level. correctly? Yes, Your Majesty. Her Majesty is waiting. I know. Clear the way. Stand fast for the Queen's Guard. men in our garden of life. But it's never happened before, and it shall never happen again. No, Your Imperial Majesty. It has never happened before, and it shall never happen again. Queen Bird! We welcome your return. Your Imperial Majesty, I have to report... Silence! You are not here to report. I have seen everything. You are here to be commended for your loyalty and skill in having safely returned with your wounded comrade without once having been seen by a serviceman. I do so commend you. Conduct him to the radium reviving chamber. this insane material because you are unable to find the garden of life? future of all my subjects are in jeopardy because these inquisitive surface people seem bent upon discovery of our empire. What's your message? As you already know, they have actually invaded the Garden of Life. They will soon return to investigate further. I shall order the Royal Guard to rid Murinia of these intruders. For my part, I should send to the Garden of Life and there capture them when they return. No. The entrance to the Garden of Life must be destroyed. They must never be able to find it again. Yes, Your Imperial Majesty. 
Kinsey. Proceed at once to the Garden of Life and destroy the entrance so that no surface man may ever find it again. Yes, Your Majesty. Alert! Do you hereby swear to abide by all the rules and regulations of the National Thunder Riders Club? I do. You are now a full-fledged member. Be seated. We will now continue with our regular business. The secretary will read the minutes of the last meeting. Meeting call to order at 4 o'clock. Dale reported his committee couldn't find any motto for our club. Bub thought it would be better to have a banquet than a motto. Meeting was adjourned because everybody got hungry. Has anyone any suggestions for the motto of our club? All for one and one for all. To the rescue is mine. No more school. Do a good turn, Dave. Thank you, Dale. Your suggestion is a good one. But that's the Boy Scouts motto. And we must have one of our own. Listen. There's that thunder sound. That's the same sound that we heard the day we saw the thunder riding. Maybe they're riding again. Meeting adjourned. Isn't that Gene's horse? Something must have happened to him. Maybe the real Thunder Riders got him. To the rescue! That's our motto. To the rescue! To, to the, the rescue! rescue! Here. All you kids break up into parties of two. We'll search this whole country. I don't all go the same way. Betsy and I will ride up toward Thunder Valley. Look, a smoke signal. It must be Gene. Quick! Thanks. You feel better now? Sure, I'm all right. Boy, you sure had a narrow escape. Yeah. Say, we got a broadcast at 2 o'clock. If we miss it, we lose our contract. And that means we'll lose Radio Ranch. We'll have to ride like the Dickens. You and Betsy ride double. to our entire situation. Explain yourself, Argo. If we can capture Gene Autry, Radio Ranch would soon become deserted, and the entrance to our underground kingdom would forever remain undiscovered. We can never allow Murania to become desecrated by the presence of surface people. Our lives are serene, our minds are superior, our accomplishments greater. Gene Autry must be captured. Get the captain of the Thunder Riders on the wireless telephone. Captain of the Thunder Guards reporting. Gene Autry approaches Thunder Valley. Capture him. Yes, Your Imperial Majesty. Thunder Guards, forward!
Get back, quick! Be nervous. Take your time. They have left their horses. They're hiding somewhere behind us. Yes, Your Majesty. Wait, don't follow. They are on their way to Radio Ranch. Will you expose your command to the world? Report back to Meridia immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. Back to Meridia! Gee, I was scared. I was afraid the rope would break. What happened, Frankie? Well, the real we'll tell you all about it later. We've just got time to get back to the ranch for the broadcast. If we miss it, we'll lose the contract. And so Radio Ranch! Two minutes. Gene fails to get here, we're sunk. He said he'd be back by one o'clock, and here it is almost two. Well, it's time to be on the air. What do we do? Oh. It's Dean! I thought you said you took care of Audrey. Sharp must have missed. Radio Ranch is on the air. This is Dean Autry offering another broadcast. Let's go! When I want my britches pressed and want my clothes to look the best, I call on Oscar. <laughs> That's me. I call on Oscar. I'm Oscar. And if my saddle needs some soap, I know the guy that's got the dope. I call on Pete. I'm Pete. I call on Pete. Yes, sir. Now these two boys are my right hand men. They've proved their worth again and again. If I want more heat or electric fan, I call on Oscar. I get it. Or call on Pete. <laughs> Now, when I write my girl a line and want it to get there on time, I call on Pete. Call on me. I call on Pete. Call. 
or if I find by morning mail that by noon I'll be in jail, I call on Oscar. I call on Oscar. Calls on me. Now there's nothing I tell you that these fellows cannot do. If I want the moon or a star or two, I call on Oscar. That's my name. I call on two. I've been there. Now my girl has got a sister, that Virginia wine to fister. I'll send Oscar. Oh, send him. Well, I'll send two. Oh, send Oscar. They say that she's not so pretty. She craves marriage, that's a pity. I'll send two. Oh, send him. I'll send Oscar. Let him go. She's got a million bucks in salt, another million in the vault. If she stays single, it ain't my fault. Let me go. I'll go, Gene. I'll go myself. Well, well I'll go. I'll go. How are we going on with our explorations of Autry here to hold the ranch guest with his broadcast? The only way we can keep our discoveries to ourselves is to rid this ranch of people. The easiest way to do that is to see that Autry doesn't broadcast again. You mean? Exactly. And then for the rich radium deposits of the underground kingdom of Urania. Yes, Your Majesty. You captured him? No, Your Majesty, there were circumstances. Circumstances? How dare you speak to me of circumstances? You were ordered to take and bind this man. His very existence is a menace to the kingdom of Murania. By all precedent, I should have you put to death. Yes, Your Majesty. But not yet. Ten lashes of the scrabula from the gentle Argo should teach my captain obedience. Take him away. Men should invade Murania, we would probably become like them. How fortunate we are with our advanced science, our superior mentality. Bring in Radio Ranch, that childish amusement place in the On with the show, folks. Yesterday, when you tuned out our radio show, the Thunder Riders were riding to the rescue. Well, here's what happened after that. Cut it out. You're supposed to be taking care of the baby. Oh, I can play and take care of the baby, too. Attacked. The bandits are giving chase. 
Why don't the Thunder Riders come to the rescue? must go to the aid of his henchmen. Well, Daddy, you took it as real as life. Turn over, Daddy. I'm supposed to bandage you. He's dead. Somebody shot him. All banks. I don't see how any of us could have done it. Why, I can't understand. It's all very simple. Your rifle was loaded. Are you insinuating that I shot my partner? No, of course not. But you'll have to admit that this is a case for the sheriff. Everybody says you did. And the sheriff's come and take you to town. That's what worries me. If they lock me up, I'll never be able to discover the real murder. Oscar's guarding the window. His gun's loaded with blanks. He wouldn't shoot you anyway. He promised. The sheriff. Two are sworn in as special deputies. Get going. Otter's had too good a start, Sheriff. Knows the desert like a book. We have a plane out here a little way. Use it. You can keep track of them until the posse catches up. Good. I've got tear gas bombs. We'll take them along. Get the motor warmed up, Sharp. Right. Maybe if I bust one of these, it won't work. That wouldn't stop them. Pull out those rocks as soon as I give you the signal. Good luck, Sheriff. They're taking off. No, 
Now's our chance to capture Autry. Why not let the deputies catch him? They'll hang him for murder. Because he's not guilty, and they'll only let him free to continue his radio broadcast and menace our Muranian civilization. Connect me with the Royal Guard by wireless telephone. Yes, Your Majesty. Thunder Guard. Audrey is on the desert, pursued by a body of servicemen. Bring him to me and see that this time you do not fail. Yes, Your Majesty. Thunder Guards, alert! gas bombs all around them, but they don't seem to have any effect. They're wearing masks. Two gas bombs won't bother them. The armament room, quick! The Thunder Guard is being attacked by a surface manned airship. Dispatch an aerial torpedo at once to guide it to the airship's destruction. Yes, Your Majesty.
horsemen? I don't know. Why, they've got on me. Run over and catch up with them. Right. Landing tear gas bombs all around them, but they don't seem to have any effect. They're wearing masks. The armament room, quick. The Thunder Guard is being attacked by a surface man's airship. Dispatch an aerial torpedo at once, guided to the airship's destruction. Yes, Your Majesty. I'd have sworn that plane fell over this way. you blinded by those tear gas bombs that the sheriff threw at the Thunder Riders. <laughs> I was unconscious. My eyes were shut. We better go help the sheriff. You can't go over there. The sheriff will arrest you. With all that tear gas around, he won't be able to see enough to arrest anybody. <laughs> help me. I'm blind. <laughs> Here, put this over his eyes. Dead? No, just unconscious. He'll come to in a little while. They have got an idea. Help me get Sharp over there at that tree. What are you going to do? I'm going to change clothes with Sharp. What good luck do? Don't you see? I'll be able to go back to the range, find out who killed your father, and clear my name. <laughs> tied up out here. We'll release him tonight. He'll be all right. That tear gas will soon wear off. Listen. That must be the posse. There it is. Me, Sheriff, your deputy. Are you all right? My eyes, that tear gas. Oh, you're better off than that aviator is. He's out of his head. Boys, get these fellows on horses so we can take them back to the ranch. We leave Pete and Oscar here. To bring back the plane.
fault, you fathead. Come on out here and help me. Are you going to help me lug this contraption back to the ranch, or ain't you? Hey, what's that? Never mind. It's something. Let's see it. All right, catch. <laughs> what are you crying about? I don't know. I don't feel sad. <laughs> then why cry? <laughs> but I broke it. I don't care. Here's another one. See? I break them just for fun. <laughs> The captain of the Thunder Guards failed again. What shall I do with him? According to the law of Murenia, there is no third chance. Quite right, Argo. Shall I direct the Seneschal to send a patrol? It will more greatly impress the Thunder Guard if you arrest him yourself. I thank your majesty. It is my pleasure. Thousand feet. It's getting hard to breathe. By order of the Queen, you are under arrest. I am ready. Always the good captain. Lord High Chancellor and the prisoner of the Empire. Your Imperial men. You have been a good commander of my Thunder Guard. Yet not good enough. Twice you have failed to capture this surface man, Gene Autry, whose radio ranch has attracted sufficient people to this vicinity to make discovery of our empire a possibility. Quote for me the law of the realm. Everything that is belongs to the queen. Her word is law. No man may transgress it, except by the grace of her imperial majesty. In no case, and under no circumstances, may an offense be repeated. Sentence? Death. Prisoner, advance. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors were driven here by the glaciers. They built this city, and since then, my subjects and their forebears have lived here in peace. They have lived a life far more attractive than the life led in the mad world above. If the surface people discover the entrance to Murania, our advanced civilization is in peril. Did you not know these things? Yes, Your Majesty. I condemn you to death in the lightning chamber. Lord High Chancellor, see that the sentence is executed. Oh, 
Captain, you are the 37th soldier to be executed this year. I know. Many of them were my friends. What would you say if I told you they still live? Every one of them. I'd say you lied. I have charge of all executions, Captain. And I have saved their lives. What would you give to save yours? This is treason. I shall tell the Queen. How? Who will deliver your message? You are already in the death chamber. You will never see the Queen again. Unless you agree to join with us and await the hour of rebellion. What are your terms? Your word. Say that you are for us. What is your answer? You have my word. You're a wise, Captain. You will be conducted through the secret passage to rebel headquarters. The prisoner is in the death chamber. All is prepared. Build up 200,000 volts for the death chamber. That ends Captain Ord. For the sake of the Muranian Empire, I wish it had been Jean Nortre. been someone with me all the time. Do you think those scientists had anything to do with Dad's murder? I don't know. Things look funny. They didn't hesitate about accusing me. And they sure were mighty anxious for the sheriff to use their plane to chase you. Shh. Hi, quick. Feeling better, Sharp? I is. Tell us, did you get a good look at those peculiar-looking horsemen? Huh. Well, at any rate, you'll be glad to know that they captured Gene Autry. Think of it, Beatson. People descended from one of the lost tribes of Mew, living in the underground world. But think of the fame and wealth we'll have when we find them. Come out, you! With the sheriff back at the ranch, we'd better go to our room and get rid of that rifle. Right. We heard everything. We gotta get that gun. That must be the gun that killed your father. We've got to work fast. I'll get him back in here. Oh, my eyes! Anybody? Oh, my eyes. It's sharp. They've gone. Uh, huh? What's the matter, Sharp? Uh, uh, noise. Noise. Uh, uh. It must be. It's the only one in the room. There's nothing here. He's crazy. I'm not so sure, oh, but that... Of course. The man's out of his mind. Come on. He 
He's all shot. Goofy. It's gone. What? Are those brakes fixed yet? Are those brakes fixed yet? Not yet. I just got a move. Jim. I found the gun that killed Dad. Hey, wait a minute. Sheriff, I want to... Just a moment, Professor. Check it. I'll bet you the bullet that killed my dad fits it. And the number will tell who bought it. You're right. I'll get started for town and check up on everything as soon as my brakes are fixed. Thanks. Where'd you find it? Sheriff! Oh. Professor! Hey! Hey! The sharp! But who's that upstairs? It's us. Come on, Sheriff! Get that gun. himself when he reaches the grade. Those brakes are unfastened. I'll bet you the bullet that killed my dad fits it. And the number will tell who bought it. You're right. I'll get started for town and check up on everything as soon as my brakes are fixed. Thanks. Where'd you find it? Sheriff! Uh, Professor, hey! Hey! The sheriff. But who's that upstairs? It's us, Ranch. Come on, Sheriff. Get that gun. You 
and kill himself when he reaches the grade. Those brakes are untouched. He'll kill himself in Coyote Pass. The shortcut. We can save him. The Thunder Riders Club. To the rescue. I'll start the signal. Now watch that. Forward, march. One, two, four. About face. To the rescue. Double quick time. Look, it's a call to arms. To the rescue. There can't be anything left to Gene Autry now. We better get into town and make a report to the coroner. Her Imperial Majesty, the Queen. Did I receive your report correctly? Yes, Your Majesty. Do you mean to tell your queen that the secret police are unable to locate a person as prominent as the Lord High Chancellor of the realm? Messengers have searched all parts of the kingdom without success. Messengers? Didn't you try the television screen? No, Your Majesty. Nitwits. You have no more intelligence than the surface people. Council adjourned. We better slip back to the wreck and get that gun. All that's left of it after that explosion wouldn't do us any good. Yes, but how are you going to prove that you didn't kill Dad? I don't know, but right now we've got to get ready to make the next broadcast. If we don't make it by 2 o'clock, we'll lose Radio Ranch. But if you show up on the ranch, you'll be arrested. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be there. You rig up a remote control microphone in your laboratory. Right. As president of the Junior Thunder Riders Club, I ask you all to swear secrecy. Not to tell us all that Gene is coming to the ranch to broadcast. But he's a fugitive. Shouldn't we tell us, Sherry? We know he didn't kill Dad. How's he going to find the real murderer and prove his innocence if he's in jail? And besides, doesn't our charter say that we should help anyone that's in trouble? I guess that's right. Any more objections? No. no. All right, I'll raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, as a member of the Junior Thunder Riders Club... I, as a member of the Junior Thunder Riders Club... Promise to follow the creed of our organization and help Gene Autry, who's in trouble. Promise to follow the creed of our organization and help Gene Autry, who's in trouble. By not telling one that he's, he's coming, coming back, back to radio like a secret broadcast. enough of that. Why don't you help me get ready for the broadcast? I wonder if Gene's going to be able to make this broadcast without getting caught. Well, sure. But what if they hear him up here? They wouldn't know where he's singing from. My laboratory's soundproof. Go on, get over there at the mic. I want to make a test. But won't they hear me down on the ranch? No, the remote control isn't hooked up yet. Go ahead. This is Betsy Baxter speaking. Testing for remote control. One, 
No, no good. Get the same interference we got last week. Look. My direction finder is pointing straight down. I bet it's those signals coming from the center of the earth. You know, Betsy, I'll bet there are people that live underground, just like in the book I've been reading. Hurry that torpedo. We want to destroy your radio ranch before Queen Chica discovers us. We might just as well not broadcast at all. The contract specifically states that Autry is to sing in person. I don't know anything about details. My job is to get ready. Ready for what? Gene isn't here. Maybe he is and... Maybe he isn't. I'm getting ready. Look at them. They still think Audra will get here in time to save the contract. We better start getting our equipment together. The sooner we find the underground civilization, the sooner we'll discover radium, and then we shall become rich. Get the horses ready. Find for me Lord Argo. Yes, Your Majesty. better than living on the surface? Mechanical men doing all the labor? Satisfied this radium aerial torpedo will completely destroy Radio Ranch? Yes, Lord Arthur. And a hundred communities like it. Good. While the surface men are busy broadcasting, we'll blow them all to atoms and put an end to Radio Ranch once and for all. You see anything, Gene? Not yet. Let me look. Guess we'll have to start without Gene. Radio Ranch on the air. Introducing our cowboy quartet. Did you hear about old Matt Jonas? Got swallowed by a whale. Not a tail of a whale, but a whale of a tail. There's no need to worry anymore. No need to worry when you feel blue. couldn't have left the Empire. Try the armament tower. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Quite Argo, your queen has commanded. You disobey. Explain. I can and I will, Your Majesty. Our people are restless. They are terror-stricken that Gene Autry and his guests at Radio Ranch may discover our underground world and plant with us the madness which consumes all persons on the surface. Permit me, I pray, to destroy them before it is too late. I alone will decide the method and time. Will you report to me immediately, or shall I send a robot to bring you in chains? I shall come, Your Majesty. 
When the surface men discover the secret entrance to Murania, Queen Tika will regret she did not allow me to destroy your radio ranch with this torpedo. Are you ready? Go ahead! Come on, get going! Get on up there! Ah! Back up! forever. If Gene doesn't get here pretty quick, the radio contract will be broken and we'll lose the ranch. You bet. As soon as the quartet finishes, I'll put you on the air. Oh, there ain't no need to worry anymore. Ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience, we regret to announce that Gene Autry will not... Greetings, folks. This is Gene Autry, and today I'm going to sing you a little song about my Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry... That's all for his voice. You told me Alfred was dead. I suppose that's his ghost thing. I told you the sheriff for him. The seems to be slightly exaggerated. We'll have to find him. He was go glad to see this brave little by a wife. A man with an outboard motor to go in the far alive. He watched the army and just doing a loop to quit and get him to see the fire. Oh, oh, the lady, hey, oh, lady, oh, oh, lady. Uncle Henry, he's got the capture. He murdered Tom Baxter. Where is he? He's not at the Mike's Tavern. He's here somewhere, and we've got to find him. Talk every night to wake him up at five. He hit the hay at twelve o'clock. The hookup wire leads to the barn. Scientists have found the remote control wire and they're coming to the barn. I hope he finishes the song before they bust in. Oh, holy, hey, holy, oh, holy. And that, folks, completes today's broadcast from Radio Ranch. We gotta get out of here before they catch you. Young, we've got to take our equipment or we can't broadcast tomorrow. Get a battering ram, somebody! Okay. This is our club room. That's the way to the secret exit. They've gone. They've taken their equipment.
to get the gunpowder. We'll need it for sound effects. This is our club room. That's the way to the secret exit. They've gone. They're taking their equipment. They've disappeared into thin air. I think that they must have taken Gene out to our secret passage. The outer door is locked. What? I locked it. They'll be blown to pieces. We'll have to rescue them. Thunder Rider sure came to the rescue that time. Tell us what happened. We'll tell you later. We've Listen. got to find some way to make our broadcast tomorrow. If we don't, Gene will lose his contract. And we'll lose Radio Red. What about our secret clubhouse in Thunder Canyon? Good, but how'll we get the equipment there? Leave that to the Thunder Riders Club. The trick now is to get you away from those scientists. Here, fellas. They spotted you already. Come on. He's a wonder for murder. We can't let him escape. I'll call the sheriff. What was a fugitive from justice? I don't think anyone would blame us if he were to be shot. <laughs> Lead him past those horses. I'll drop off. And those kids could have disappeared just beyond me. They must have ducked down gopher holes. Now, when they come in, let me do the talking. We want to show them that we really know how to run a club. Welcome, travelers, to a meeting of the Junior Thunder Riders Club, thrown open to you on the face of a great emergency. Gentlemen, the honor and integrity of our club is at stake. We have a mission to perform, and without the assistance of you two intelligent gentlemen, it is doomed to failure. Will you take an oath of secrecy? Well, where do you want us to take it? Shut up. He means we've got to swear. Now, the creed of our organization is to assist others who are in distress. Our motto is to the rescue. Now, we must help our friend Gene make his next broadcast. We want you to take the broadcasting equipment to the secret clubhouse in Thunder Canyon. Will you do it? Sure, Frankie. Good. Why didn't you say that's what you want? Now, first, you have to get the wagon and take it to the secret exit of the clubhouse. And then... What are you doing? I'm disguising myself. 
Here's yours. Put them on. Well, put them on. They told us to keep it a secret, didn't they? Yeah, but maybe they... Maybe nothing. How are we going to be a secret if we ain't a secret? I'll put them on. Friends of Radio Land, this is Oscar. And that's Pete. Oh, lee la 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 Oh, lee la 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 Oh, the duck went quack and the cow went... Moo. And the old Tom Cat sure raised an awful row. <laughs> Oh, the little pig squealed in the belly goat bad, and the bullfrog said, "Big as a." Yes, Your Majesty. Get me headquarters of the Royal Thunder Guard. Once we are rid of Osrey and he can no longer broadcast, Radio Ranch will become deserted. At your service, Your Majesty. Lieutenant, Gene Autry is now at a shack in Thunder Canyon. Lead your riders there and capture him. Remember, if you fail, you peril Murania, and your life becomes forfeit. Do you understand? Yes, Your Majesty. Just a minute, Lieutenant, and you'll see the exact location of the shack. Transfer the view of the shack to the Thunder Guard's screen. Well, very good, Your Majesty. Thunder Guards, alert! Radio equipment. Pete and Oscar are bringing it up. Pete and Oscar? Yeah. We made them honorary members of our club. <laughs> oh. Thunder. It's the Thunder Riders. Coming in. Get in there and hide. More surface men approach. We cannot allow anyone to interfere with our mission. After them. mean trouble. We'd better go back. Just when we have offering the palm of our hand? No.
up and change clothes with this fella. It's the only way to save you from the other. They're coming back. What if they find you out? They won't. I'll lead them away and come back after you later. Don't let him get away. Where is Gene Autry? He escaped. Assist the lieutenant. The queen would be very disappointed if he should not return for his punishment. underground kingdom with him. Come on, we better get back and watch our prisoner. He's gone! I do not blame you, Lieutenant Paul, for trying to escape the fate that awaits you. Advance! The Queen desires your presence at once, sir. Take off your helmet and get a breath of real air. This grace does not care to show his face. Only one life to lose, you insult me in my throne room? I, uh, you dare to wear your oxygen helmet in my presence? Yes, but I... Off with his helmet! Your Majesty, Lieutenant Paul is not himself. I beg that... Jean Autry, a surface man in Murania. Welcome. How do you like our world? Well... <laughs> I think the dampness and dead air of your land is more suited to rats and moles. Yeah? You interest me. Go on. My business is singing. I sing about horses and sunshine and the plains. <laughs> well, how could anybody sing about those things here? Kind of makes you feel good to sing, you know. You are indeed a brave man. Now let us see whether you are also a wise one. You have referred to your sunlight and plains. 
Now let me prove that they are not all that is worthwhile. You may start. Radium resistance elevation. Do you have that in your surface world? See, in Urania, we have mechanical men for all our labor. My subjects devote their time to thought, to advancing their minds. Feast your eyes. He is from your world. We have none of that here. There are friends of yours. They may become beggars. Well, I guess we'd better go back to Radio Ranch and see if we can find out anything with our direction finder in the laboratory. Frankie, Betsy. That's right. Speak to them. The death chamber. There's where you'll be in five minutes. You are the first surface man to invade our empire, and your knowledge of uranium must die with you. Take him away. My dear Argo, you may personally build up the voltage. You honor me. The prisoner is in the death chamber. All is prepared. Build up 200,000 volts for the chamber of death. You are the first surface man to invade our empire, and your knowledge of uranium must die with you. Take him away. My dear Argo, you may personally build up the voltage. You honor me. The 
prisoner is in the death chamber. All is prepared. Build up 200,000 volts for the chamber of death. now start Autry's charred body on its trip to the Cavern of the Dunes. His is the fate of all surface men who try to discover the entrance to Mirania. Jean Autry's lips are forever sealed. to wait for the word that will start the revolution. Do not be impatient. The clever Argo has saved our lives for a purpose, and we must wait. Well, why delay? We're equipped. Not yet. My disintegrating atom smashing machine is still in construction. When it is completed, it will be capable of destroying the universe. Where are the hand weapons you promised us? I have perfected this Z-ray lithium gun. It is designed to block anyone it has turned on, and we must have time to build more. For example, who's that? Spy, Captain! A surface man! Who has saved this surface man's life as he has saved ours, but for a different purpose. Why should the Lord High Chancellor want to save him? For vivisection, so that we may take him to our laboratories and learn how a surface man's lungs differs from ours. I see, and thereby improve our breathing apparatus on surface levels. Take him to the surgery. Stand back. Get in that corner. This is unfortunate. We need every man, too. He's only blinded temporarily. He'll be all right soon. Look, the Chancellor. Well, gentlemen, what's this? Gene Autry has escaped with our new ray gun. Autry escaped? Incompetent fools. If the Queen learns I saved him from the death chamber, all of us will burn for your carelessness. Well, fortunately, the ray gun that Audrey has is lightly charged. It will soon exhaust itself. Audrey has escaped. You must find him at once and bring him to our rebel headquarters. A surface man loose in uranium? Once the Queen hears of this, we'll all be dead.
Take me closer and let me hear what they have to say. Not the strangest <laughs> part of that experience. Oh, you're not leaving, are you? Yes. With Gene Autry disappeared, the radio programs will have to stop. And that means there will be nothing interesting here. It's a shame. It's such a delightful place. And too. even if Audrey should return, he would be arrested for Baxter's murder. I personally and think you're wise in leaving. The publicity is bound to be bad. Professor and I are going tomorrow. I agree with you, Doctor. The sooner we all get away from here, the better. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. 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 It won't be long until Radio Ranch is deserted, and we can continue our search for the entrance to Muranium. So they think they will discover Murania and become rich, do they? We at least are ridding Radio Ranch of its guests. After they are gone, the small group of scientists will present no difficulty. Stand still or I'll blind you. Get me radio rates on the television screen. Get over there. I want to see inside the barn. President and Vice President have learned something from the direction finder in Frankie's laboratory. Yes, Mr. President, our scouting expedition has failed. Any instructions? Oh, I know Gene is underground somewhere. If we could only find the entrance to Morania, the Thunder Riders Pub could rescue him. Frankie, Betsy. Betsy, I'm trying to talk to you. Can't you understand me? Why can't they understand me? The word scrambler. Get back to the board. What do you mean, word scrambler? It's an instrument which mixes up the words of our wireless telephone so that nobody outside of Murania can understand what is said. Where's it going? There it is again. Look at the direction finder. I know those signals are coming from Moravia. The direction finder is pointing straight down. Frankie, Betsy, can you hear me? Can you hear me now, Frankie? Now do you understand, Frankie? Where are you? Gene, speak to me again. Gene, where are you? Here I am, 20,000 feet under the ground in Murania. But how did you get there? Through a secret entrance at the head of Thunder Canyon near Whale Rock. We'll start right away. No, don't. You couldn't do any good. Where are you going? Where are you? Speak to me. What happened? Why'd you stop talking? What business is this, Lord Argo? All of us will meet you in Moraney. There's the answer to your question. I caught Gasper plotting with surface people. You may judge for yourself if I handled it properly. Switch it off. Suma. Yes, Your Majesty. Pair a radium bomb and send it out to meet and destroy the surface riders who will soon be headed this way. To the rescue! To the, the rescue! rescue! We're members of the club. Why don't we go along? To the rescue! 
rescue. Well, are you a coming or ain't you? Well, I can't go till the horse starts. Well, why don't you stop playing that harp and start to ride me? Well, he won't go but for one certain tune. I've forgotten it. Well, why don't you start saying something and maybe you'll go? Anything to get away from you. Get up. That silverhead, Daffy. No need to worry, my mind no more. Hold oh, no, on, gray mare, she ain't what? Now listen, Vivian. I know you can go. I just forgot your tune now, Vivian. Please. I remember. All right. Set that one to guard the door. I'm not sure I know how. All right, I'll show you how. Press that white button. That sets him on the alert. You press that middle one, and that sets him in for a red switch. If anyone passes either of these light beams, well, Autry will never pass here.
Dean Aubrey, all right. Notify the Queen. Immediately. Your Majesty, the television phone. I have captured the surface man, Gene Autry. Gene Autry? Yes, Your Majesty. He still shows a spark of life. Take him to the radium reviving chamber. Did you know that Gene Autry failed to die when I sentenced him to the death chamber? No, Your Majesty. After centuries of loyalty from the subjects of Urania to their sovereigns, our empire now has a traitor in its midst. A traitor in Urania. It's unbearable. Have I not been a good queen? Yes, Your Majesty. Lord Argo was in charge of the execution. I wonder. We must revive the surface man at once so that he may tell us who helped him escape from the death chamber. Tell us the name of this infamous traitor. His fate will be instant death. But there is another problem. The surface people of Radio Ranch are even now searching for the secret entrance to our kingdom. Notify the Royal Guard to be on the alert. If the surface people find the entrance, they are to be disposed of immediately. Jean said the entrance was at the head of Thunder Canyon. We must scatter and search. And keep your eyes open for the entrance to Morania. Stay at your post. Scarcely breathing. I doubt if he'll live to reach the reviving chamber. Guard has captured Jean Nortre in the armament tower. Does he live? No, but they're taking him to the reviving chamber. That means they'll bring him back to life. We must start the revolution at once. But this atom smashing machine which destroys all matter is not yet complete. Autry will tell who freed him from the death chamber. I'll be discovered. Control yourself. You forget that I'm chief surgeon. Maybe he'll never be able to speak. Go to your quarters. The Queen will be sending for you. Go to the reviving chambers and await orders. Yes, my lord. Take this electric knife to the radium generator room and cut the high tension cable. With the power cut off, we'll stop every machine in Murania. Where's the head surgeon? He should be here. I've sent for him, Your Majesty. And he's here. Prepare the radium generator for the surface man. He must be made to live again. According to your majesty's instructions. Tend to him, Rab. He must not die.
dead. No one is dead in Murania unless we do not wish to revive him. Start the machine. cable isn't cut soon, you will have to carry word to every district that the revolution must start immediately. For the present, you will accompany me to the reviving chamber. I'll cut this one and all the electric power in Morania will cease. Right. but now he lives. Soon he will be able to talk. When may I question him? Shortly, Your Majesty. What did you say? I can't understand you. What language is he speaking? It is the language of the dead. Then we can't understand him nor he us? Surface people always return to life that way. But you said that I might question him. One may always question the dead, Your Majesty, but one need not always expect an answer. But I must find out who helped him escape from the death chamber. That should be very simple, if you will risk an operation upon his brain. I'll risk anything to find the traitor who helped him escape from the death chamber. Prepare for a tree pack. Mingo, giggle, giggle. just in time to witness an experiment. Autry has returned from death. He is about to speak. Are you concerned? Not at all, Your Majesty. You once had charge of his execution. Do you want him to live? I'm not concerned. Do you want Autry to tell who helped him escape from the death chamber? By all means, Your Majesty. Murania must be rid of any traitors. What's happening? Wait! We don't have to operate. He's speaking. Tell me, quickly, how did you escape from the death chamber? The lightning reached at me. Then I started back. And it got closer. And closer. And then... Quick! Light! Quickly! What's happened to the power? He's gone! Where is Argo? Here, Your Majesty. All the power in Marini has been shut off. Someone has helped him escape. Is Murania full of traitors? Send runners to all parts of the kingdom. We must capture Autry at once. Direct the Royal Guard to cease activities against the surface people and concentrate on the recapture of Autry. General Order Number 45 from Her Majesty the Queen to the Royal Thunder Guard. Number one, all activities against the Earth Riders to cease. Number two, the entire Thunder Guard is attached to the Muradian Secret Police for duty until the surface man Gene Autry is recaptured.
Open it. This door opens electrically. It will not operate without power. Cut off the hinges. The robots work upon it now, Your Majesty. Hurry! I want to see on the television screen the surface riders who threaten us from above so that I may direct the defense. We've got to find Gene so he can get back to Radio Ranch in time to make his next broadcast. That must be the entrance to Murania. Come on. There's a rope ladder. We're certainly on the track of a large deposit of radium. Must be the science. You're right, Professor. But we could use picks and shovels for a year without penetrating uranium. Well, I'm as well satisfied if we never will find them. As long as we locate that radio deposit, I came here for wealth, not fame. Come quick, Professor. The electroscope is acting mighty peculiar. How far are we from radium? According to this instrument, which will indicate radium in the most minute quantities, we are approximately 3,000 feet. In that case, we'd better fly back to Radio Ranch and get some dynamite to start blasting. Right. After we locate a way to enter uranium, we'll have access to enough radium to fill a bush and back. Did you hear what he said? Yes. And all the radium in the world wouldn't even be as big as a golf ball. It's worth $10 million. And he said a bush and a basket for them. Gee. They're taking the ladder away. We're trapped. Good. The whole city is alive. But is the elevator in operation? There it is now, Your Majesty. The elevator is off his only means of escape. I must have it watched closely. Things have come to a sorry pass when a uranium must labor. What do you suppose has happened to his robot? It's Audrey! Audrey! I must notify the Queen at once. He's gained the elevator. He's headed for the surface entrance. Thunderguard, Gene Offrey's headed your way. Take him dead or alive, but stop him. 
We have him. Or at least my Thunder Guard is loyal. Now I'll be able to find out who helped Orphe escape from the death chamber. He's gained the elevator. He's headed for the surface entrance. Thunderguard, Gene Orphy's headed your way. Take him dead or alive, but stop him. We have him, or at least my Thunderguard is loyal. Now I'll be able to find out who helped Orphy escape from the death chamber.
Lieutenant Adair's horse is loose. And there's not a stable lieutenant in sight. Quick! The master microphone! My command must reach all quarters of the Empire. Royal Guard, alert. Proceed immediately to your headquarters and capture the surface man. Royal Guard, alert. Proceed to your headquarters immediately and capture the surface man. Follow me! Royal Guard, alert. Royal Guard, alert. Proceed to your headquarters immediately and capture the surface man. Get me out of here. We've missed him. Audrey must be hiding on that hill. To the right. Come on, gather some more wood for the signal fire. Wishing we'll get you out of this hole. We came here to rescue Jean from Uranus, and now look at her. We should have had more sense than to climb down into this pit. Well, how'd I know the scientists were going to pull up the rope ladder and leave us trapped? You should have known you couldn't trust Professor Beeson and the rest of those archaeologists. All right. That should be enough dynamite to uncover the radium deposit. Right. If anyone should discover it, we'd have to share our fortune with the owners of the land and the government. All set, Professor. Good. We'll take off immediately. We'll hurry back to the excavation. We don't get the smoke signal started pretty soon. Our club will never get here to help us. And if those scientists ever catch us, it'll be just too bad.
Must be getting hot. I smell smoke. Come on, quit playing. Get the wood for a signal fire. We smoke get us out of this hole. How the world you do it? All right, if you're going to be the fireman, I'll be the wood boy. Chasing one of our own men. Here, one of you fellas, take him back to Marinia. We've got to find Audrey. down. Someone has used it. They built a fire. They must be hiding in the tunnel. We're not going to lose that fortune in radium now. Whoever is in that tunnel is never going to tell anyone else about it. You got us out of there just in time. Say, we've got to broadcast at two o'clock. It's almost time now. We'll never make it back to the ranch by two o'clock. We'll have to. If Gene doesn't go on the air, We'll lose the contract and the ranch, too. They will have borrowed their plane. Stand still. I've got to cover. Now you can lower your hand. But don't move too fast. Because something might happen. Start your motor and take off at once. Somebody's stealing the plane. You stay here. Fly straight the radio in. Don't lose any time getting there. Those horses belong to the Baxter kids. They must have been the ones who took the plane. They're headed back to the ranch. But won't they arrest Gene for murder as soon as he appears on the ranch? Your broadcast will be away from there before anyone knows. Gentlemen, things have come to a sorry pass when your queen must fight enemies both within and without the kingdom. Until Jean Autry has been recaptured, I will never know the identity of the traitor who helped him escape from the death chamber. Gene Autry has evaded us. Can your majesty locate him on the master television screen and direct our search? Immediately, Commander, and I commend your presence of mind. Watch things carefully. We may have to start the revolution at once if Autry is recaptured, for I'm the one who saved him. Yes, Your Majesty. And as soon as this fellow served his purpose and we're alone, I'll tell you the exact location of the entrance to Murray. I've heard enough. We must capture them. They know too much. It would be simple, Your Majesty, to destroy them where they are. 
Certainly. Blast that plane out of the sky. You forget, Lord Argo, that we have never before had a traitor in our kingdom. No effort must be spared to bring Jean Autry back to Murania, so that I may learn who it was that helped him escape his death sentence. Autry and three companions are in a flying machine headed for Radio Ranch. I am forcing them to land. Capture them all. Can you send forth an interference ray that will stop the flying machine in which Gene Autry is riding? Yes, Your Majesty. Then send it. Destroy their ignition system and force them to land at once. We have got to stop them before they reach Radio Ranch. If this is as fast as we can go, we'll never make Radio Ranch by 2 o'clock. Faster. In fact, I can make it go. What are you going to do there? Wait and see. Radio Ranch. Calling Radio Ranch. How we'll hear from that rollicking bandit crew, the Radio Ranch Quartet. Here they are. The program will be over in a few minutes. Yes, if Gene doesn't appear pretty soon, we're sunk. Yesterday, my that gal lives up on the hill. Oh, Radio Ranch? Who's calling? This is Frank. He's speaking from a cabin place. Gene's going to sing. Hook him up. Okay. Right. Yes, folks, it's Gene Autry, speaking to you from an airplane high over radio range. I'm going to sing, I'm getting a moon's eye view of the world. I have often wondered when down on the ground, how the old world looks to Mr. Moon. And now I can see why he smiles all the while. He's watching the sweethearts as they soon. I'm getting a moon's eye view of the world floating around in the sky. I get a thrill floating in the air, buzzing around like a fly. No wonder he smiles at you folks on the ground. He knows that life is a merry-go-round. I'm getting a moon's eye view of the world floating around in the sky. Mountains and valleys below me I see a river winding round through the trees. A cottage or two and a church in the dell, a paradise kissed by the breeze. I'm getting a moon's eye view of the world Floating around in the sky, I get a thrill floating in the air, buzzing around like a fly. No one boats on the ground, he knows that life is a merry-go-round. I'm getting a moon high view of the world, floating around in the sky.
leave us like this, I'll get back there. You think I'm going to try a dead stick landing with a load of dynamite? You're crazy. Get over there. But his friends, they know the location of the surface entrance to Morania. They will expose us to the world. I've instructed my Thunder Riders to take care of them. will soon be deserted. And without Autry's broadcasting, the guests will soon leave and we can continue our search for the underground kingdom of Murania without interference. Well, we'd better make sure about Autry. Right after Gene signed off, it sounded as if the plane was in trouble. We didn't see any sign of Gene, and now Frankie and Betsy have disappeared. We just heard from them by wireless. They were in a plane. It might have crashed. Did they give their location? No, but they were heading toward the ranch. We'll have to find them. To the rescue! <laughs> He's still alive. He's wearing a Muranian outfit. He must have been in the underground kingdom. Do you realize what that means? If we can revive him? He can tell us how to get into Morania. We'll take him to our excavation. Deliver your prisoner to Her Majesty on the 33rd level and report back here immediately. Don't be scared. I won't let him hurt you. Uh, I'm not scared. We're going over three miles a minute. some kind of breathing apparatus. I can tell by the mouthpiece.
interesting. Perhaps we may learn something from the youthful people that might prove interesting. Or the reverse. Babes often speak quite plainly. Princess of the realm, we're audience with the queen. So, you are the sprout from which surface people spring. I am a girl. Well, I'm no sprout. Tell me. What do you think of Murania? Stuffy. You remind me of someone I've read about. It's the ugly Duchess. Oh. So you think I'm ugly? No, you're not ugly. But as for Murania, well... It's like Alice in Wonderland. Off with her heads and all such tripe. What would you say if I followed the plan of your ugly Duchess and actually ordered your heads removed? I'd say you better look out for Jean when he heard about it. And what would your gene do? He'd telephone the president. And before you could wink an eye, there'd be a regiment of artillery here knocking the top off this palace. Silence! And there'd be airplanes dropping bombs as big as barracks. Silence! And then what would be left of your uranium? Silence! Take charge of them. And as for your gene, it might interest you to know that he is dead. Herewith, and on royal edict, I condemn the insolent offspring of savage surface men to a life of confinement in the lower dungeon. Remove them. Do you suppose he really is dead? No, she was just trying to scare us. Wait, light turn off the infrared. Now you may pass. You cross that beam, the mechanical man's liable to kill you. Pull it open, it's not locked. There's machinery inside, just like a clock. And, th and they got radios in their head. And there's a fella at the central station that turns dials and things and tells them where to go and what to do. Oh. We'll never get out of Murania. Well, if, if Jean found a way out, we ought to be able to. Come on. Where is it, Audrey? Tell us where the entrance to Murania is located. He's still unconscious. You fellas watch him. We'll scout around. I'd like to see Autry's face when he learns that Frankie and Betsy were captured by the Muranians. We'll tell him all about it when he wakes up. If he does. Look! Aren't those Frankie and Betsy's horses? Something must have happened to them. You stay here, and we'll go and look around. Sure, it's their horses. Where did this come from? Be quiet. I hear somebody.
I'll bet them scientists are holding Frankie and Betsy prisoners down there. If they are, we're gonna get them. We've got work to do. But that's for a Pete told us to stay where we were. Well, they might need our help. Look at Gene. But where's Frankie and Betsy? Didn't you find them? They're prisoners down in Urania. We've got to save them. To the rescue! Majesty may see for herself. Our surface entrance is about to be discovered. It's Jean Autry leading the surface riders to the entrance of Murania. I thought he was dead. Evidently not, Your Majesty. Now is your time to capture him. Have you lost your wits? We can't expose the entrance to Murania to such a pack of witnesses. Autry will be easily captured later. But he will find the door. How? He knows about the electric eye and will locate the door through it. The thing to do, Your Majesty, is to remove the electric eye and hereafter operate the outer door from this control room. For once, Lord Argo, your advice is sound. Connect me with the Royal Thunderguard. What will happen if we don't recapture those young surface people? Have you ever heard of the death chamber? You mean... As soon as the Queen hears of their escape. Well, well... Immediately, Your Majesty. Headquarters, Thunder Guard. Remove the electric eye and disconnect the outer door mechanism at once. This is imperative. Immediately. I'm sure this is the place, but there was an electric eye placed in the wall. What's an electric eye? When your reflection appears in it, the eye, by means of a photoelectric cell, operates whatever you want it to. In this case, it opened the entrance to Murania. No one can open the door to the upper world except by operating this switch. And it's protected by an infrared from this robot. Don't endanger us now. But the destructive radium beam is not yet connected. You propose to guard the upper door mechanism by infrared, which, if crossed by anyone operating that switch, will cause destructive radium beams to come from above and kill anyone in this room? That is correct. We'll never find them standing around here. Are you sure your device is positive? Absolutely. No one can encounter the radium ray and live. Besides, an alarm will sound in every quarter of the Empire. And you're quite sure this master switch alone will open the entrance to Murania? Quite sure, Your Majesty. Then set your apparatus and check the alarms of the Empire. We must get to that switch and open the secret entrance so Jean can rescue us.
Bring him be. He'll never get out alive. Your device is positive? Absolutely. No one can encounter the radium ray and live. Besides, an alarm will sound in every quarter of the empire. And you're quite sure this master switch alone will open the entrance to Muranius? Quite sure, Your Majesty. Then set your apparatus and check the alarms of the empire. I know some magic words that never fails to open doors. I can only think of them. We must get to that switch and open the secret entrance so Gene can rescue us. for removal to the radium reviving chamber and then to the lowest dungeon. Right down 
the door. Why, it's a graveyard. Who's afraid of things like that? Why, it's got wheels like a clock. Well, they're not alive at all. robots are about worn out. I guess we'll have to have them broken up.
have long been a menace to me, Rania, by attracting people to Radio Ranch with your broadcast. Your discovery of the entrance to our kingdom leaves us open to invasion from the world above. For this, I once sentenced you to the death chamber, but you escaped. Whoever helped you escape is a traitor to Murania. Tell me his name. I'll tell you nothing. Not even to save your life? Not even to save my life, unless I can also save Frankie and Betsy. Before you exercise yourself too greatly, let me prove that your friends are alive and well. Bring Frankie and Betsy to me at once. Bring the prisoner to the control room. he tells the Queen I allowed him to escape, I'll be arrested. Trouble may start sooner than we expect. You mean the revolution? Precisely. Stay here and report to me any developments. When Frankie and Betsy undertook to operate the door control switch, they released a radium ray. When connected, an infrared shining from this robot's forehead will turn loose destructive forces the instant anyone crosses it. This board operates every electrical and mechanical operation of Murania. What has happened? Get excited, lady. We're just taking charge of uranium. I've got this one, too. Lock that door, officer, and then we're all keen. Who are you? The Foster and Pete to the rescue. How about getting Frankie and Betsy and going back to the ranch? We're getting tired of this crazy place. Stop it. I command you. Ah! Take down, you. Okay, Frankie and Betsy on the television screen. Now I will be able to prove to you that your young friends are alive and well. Take them at once to our headquarters, and don't let them escape under pain of death. Then what shall we do with them? Leave that to me. That doesn't look much like they're going to be brought up here. Argo is deliberately disobeying my commands. He'll suffer for this. He's the man that released me from the death chamber, so that the revolutionists could study my breathing structure. The revolutionists? Yes. They have secret headquarters underneath the death chamber. All those that you sent to death are down there alive, waiting Argo's word to revolt. That's the entrance to rebel headquarters. Broadcast a proclamation. Oh, no, you don't. But I must. It's the only way to quell the revolution. And tell your soldiers that we have your prisoner in your control room? Don't you realize it's the only way to save Frankie and Betsy? How do I know I can trust you? I am of royal blood. My ancestors have been kings in Urania for a hundred thousand years. My word is good. And what is your word? We are allies. I will return you and your friends safely to the surface if you give me back control of Murania. Right. We're going to rescue Frankie and Betsy. Broadcasting along. Death to Argo by order of the Crown. Death to Argo by order of the Crown. The hour has struck. Report to your station. We are dethroning the queen, and by night, a new dynasty will have control of the palace. Good! The hour! Our time has come! Dean Autry has told the queen everything. Already a general alarm is being broadcast. What has she demanded? 
Death to Argo by order of the crown. Death to the queen! We march on the palace at once! To the palace! On to the palace! This is Rebel headquarters. You fellas stay out here and keep watch. Gene! Are you all right? I've been worried about you. Sure, we're all right. But we've been awfully scared. We've got to get out of here, because if we win this revolution, we'll never see Radio Ranch again. Barricade all main thoroughfares. Send a detachment of foot soldiers to the 19th level. Flood the 26th, 27th, and 28th levels with poison gas. The revolution have broken into the citadel and now advance on the palace. Is the guard loyal? Yes, Your Majesty. I depend upon you, Commander. The palace is under attack. Muster your guard and come to my defense. We can't go this way. We must. It's the only way to the elevator. You two go ahead. They won't bother us. to my whim. I thank you for moving control of the surface entrance to this room. Now I am sure that Orkery and his friends cannot escape. Look, and be content that you have lost.
Let's get to the upper level. Seems to be deserted. The queen still has control of the palace. We'll be able to get out of here. I'll try to handle the controls from here. The queen broke her promise. She isn't going to let us out the door. She's trying to kill us. We'll have to find another way out. Regency has commissioned me to explain and demonstrate your new weapon. While its power is less, of course, than the giant machine located at Revolutionary Headquarters, you may safely depend upon this to destroy anything any member of our course might encounter. For instance, now watch that piece of solid stone. There is no limit to the power of radium when it is controlled. Entrance will never be open. Where's this one go? This one to the radio reviving chamber. That one to the lion pit. Orderly. Tag him for revival. Send this one to the lion pit. for the reviving chamber. This one, too. Tag him for an extra heavy electric charge. This one to the lime pits. Lion pit. 
I condemn you to the death chamber. Take him away. Well, Seneschal of the Realm, it is a pleasure to condemn you to death. We've got to get to the control room. load a lot lighter. I'm applying too much power. Not at all. Not at all. He's getting along nicely. Give a little bit more. Enjoy the very death to which you have sent so many. Build up 200,000 volts. The prisoner's in the death chamber. All is prepared. Proceed. Execute! Thus we have the end of your royal consul. In honor of your good friend Mel, we shall witness his end from the television screen. See? Mel is entering the death chamber. Why don't you look? This is the last time you will ever see your faithful senator. Execute! Look, and you will now see Mal's remains being carried away to the cavern of the dune. I trust you are enjoying this. A queen is not afraid of death. Not even a slow death? A death caused by Rab's disintegrating atom-smashing machine? Not even that. Lead me away. Taking the queen to her death at Rebel Headquarters. We've got to save her. But how are you going to do it? I'll get to Rebel Headquarters through the chute from the death chamber. You've got to open the staff door for me. How? Climb through the window to the control room. Count 200, and by that time I'll be there. Then close the switch that opens the trap door. Hurry. But which switch is it? It's the one with three blades in the center of the control board. But keep... 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31...
59. You have the honor of being the first. The first to test the life destroying power of my disintegrating atom smashing ray. When turned on full force, this machine is capable of destroying all civilization. For instance, The disintegrator is capable of reducing this to a transparent gas in the twinkling of an eye. So that you may appreciate fully what is to happen to you, I shall start the machine slowly. Now, if the ray were turned on you, you would be suffering pain. But all feeling would stop the moment the notch was turned to this. Because you would be paralyzed. Now the very essence of your body would be disintegrated. It would give me pleasure if the same were to happen to you. But it won't. I never heard a scream. We gotta open the trap door to let Gene in the rebel headquarters. Well, I forgot what Switchy said. Maybe it's this one. How can you close the switch? It's already closed. You've done the wrong thing. Oh, it can't be that one. He didn't say it had two blades. We've got to find the switch that opens the trap door. What are we going to do? Let's fire all of them. in the room, I guess we got the right one.
getting out of here. Back to the control room. There they are. Make away with them. Stay where you are. Look out! That's the thing we're doing. What do you mean? Get out of the way of it. has escaped and is headed for the control room. Escaped? Yes, and if she reaches there, she will regain control of the Empire. We better rush them. No, they're heavily armed. We must get to the control room. Stand back from that door. What are you going to do? Melt it down with the disintegrator ray. Turn it on full power. I don't dare risk it. I will lose control. Oh, speed the machine. We move too slowly. I can't leave you here. You must. I command. As for me, I am glad that it's being destroyed. It is better than an invasion from the surface world. 
The time is short. Go at once, or Frankie and Betsy, who are waiting above, will also be destroyed. All right, Jean. But it was worth it. I learned a lot of new scientific things. I'm going back to Marini someday and see what's left. I'm afraid there isn't very much left to the city. But we'll probably find enough radium to make us all rich. It's under our ranch property. Look, it's our Junior Thunder Riders Club. And they got the sheriff with them. Not if I can help it. I've got some business with Professor Beetson and the rest of those scientists to attend to before risking a trip to jail. Good luck, Gene. Frankie! That's it! Hey, Oscar! Beat! We've been looking all over for you. We've had a terrible experience. Tell us about it. All the Morania was destroyed. Everybody was killed. I don't believe anything about this Morania business. Where's Gene Autry? <laughs> you mean Gene was killed too? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know how you feel. That was just as well. I'd have had to arrest him for your father's murder. Maybe we'd better get back to the ranch. Come on, boys. <laughs> Something's gone wrong with this electroscope, or else there's been a terrific disturbance in the underground kingdom. What do you mean? The radium deposit we're after has moved 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet farther? I'm not turning another tap until I know how I cut in this deal. We're through until we know that we're going to get our share of the profits. And what makes you think you're going to share in the profits? You're getting salaries? All right. If you won't divide up, we're quitting. You're making a mistake, Beeson.
Suppose they should tell the sheriff who killed Tom Baxter. They won't. The dirty double cross. We'd better get back to Radio Ranch before someone thinks we had something to do with this. shot you. You might as well tell me. Uh, it was a... Uh, oh. Suppose Gene don't get back in time for the broadcast. Then we'll lose the contract and Radio Ranch, too. G-E-N-E. -E. That's him now. You wait here and keep your eyes open for the sheriff. Anything? One of the scientists killed Sharp. Are you sure? Absolutely sure in my own mind. And I'm certain that one of them killed your father. But I must have proof. Well, how are you going to get it? I'll slip out through the secret passage, get my horse, ride in in time for the broadcast. And while it's going on... Good afternoon, friends of Radio Ranch. We're on the air again, bringing you melodies from the Wild West. Introducing Gene Autry. <laughs> Before I go into a broadcast, folks, I've got a little information that I'm sure will be of interest to all of you. Some time ago, you had the unfortunate experience of being real ear witnesses to a real murder during one of our broadcasts. But our country, he's broadcasting! They want to run you the desert. a wounded man about to die. But before he passed away, he told me who shot him. It was the same man that killed Tom Baxter. And his name is... Start playing! I dreamed I rode to heaven Sitting on a bale of hay I got off on the wrong side I could hear old Satan say Just come on back Just come on back Just come on back Just come on back We have got a special now for you And as you saw So tell you read For the covers here are many leave you You're going back with me and tell him who killed Tom Baxter. I don't know anything about it. You know plenty. Sharp told me everything before he died. Sure, I killed Tom Baxter. But how are you going to prove it? You'll never make the sheriff believe you didn't do it. I think you're wrong there, partner. <laughs> that is, if Frankie learned anything about television down in Murania. All right, get moving. Let's go. Well, that sure clears Gene. But how did you ever figure out this television thing? Well, I've been working on it for a long time. And all I've needed is this little gadget. And I brought it from the Morania that you wouldn't believe in.
A long, long time ago, as all you folks should know, Uncle Noah built himself an ark for 40 days and nights. The rain was sure a fright. The animals nearly tore his ark apart. The horses and cattle and plows in the air. Even the long-eared jackets were there. Quack! Whoop! They all said, who? Yeah. All were there in Uncle Noah's ark. And that, folks, ends the last broadcast of the hectic season. I hope that the Junior Thunder Rider Club all over the country and their friends have enjoyed our broadcast. Because next year, we'll all be with you again. You can come up to Radio Ranch. We'll all go back to Murania with Frankie and Betsy. Radio Ranch signing off, wishing you all happiness and good luck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>